Hello Zany friends and thank you so much for watching another book review. In this video we are talking about In Five Years by Rebecca Searle. I don't know what to say about this book. I don't know how to start this book except to say I gave this book five stars. I gave one other book five stars this month and that was Sadie because of the impact that it had overall and at the end. This book I'm getting emotional just thinking about it too. This book is about friendship and love and loyalty. <sighs> okay, the premise of this book, I should tell you that first. The premise of this book is the main character has uh, a, an interview for a law firm um, that she's always wanted to work at. She ends up getting engaged to her boyfriend and that night uh, they settle in and she falls asleep on the couch and she has a dream about herself in five years and it's only for a little while about an hour and you see the entire scene play out and then she realizes that in that time she's in a completely different apartment and a completely different guy is with her and she wakes up not really understanding why she's not with her fiance anymore and she's not in the same apartment anymore she doesn't understand how she gets there so fast forward like four and a half years into the future and she sees the guy that she saw on the dream, but he's dating her best friend. So she's been her best friend for like 25 years. So she, I guess this best friend didn't really settle down a lot, but she's very serious about this guy. And so you read this book trying to figure out how she gets from one point in her life to the other. I figured through the book what was going to happen, what was inevitably going to happen to get her to that spot. So, I mean, at the time that I was reading it, I had a migraine, I wasn't really feeling good, so I was, I was reading this book because I really love books about friendship, because I really value what friendship is and what we should be to each other. So I read this book and I got to the end and I was like, yep, that's how I thought it was going to end. But the last chapter it blew me away to the point where I was I was crying because it, it didn't end the way I thought it was going to end at all I see I still get like teary eyed you guys this book I, I I mean I gave it five stars for a reason I don't know if I'll read it again and I I want to but I don't know if I will because this book is just so special and it's so it, it's just so meaningful, I think. So I think you guys really, it's especially meaningful to me because of what happens to the best friend. And um, I'm not going to tell you what that is, but if you know me and what I've gone through in my life and then read the book, uh, comment down below if you know what I'm talking about um, with what happens to her friend and why that might be a connection to me. So comment down below if you know that. But you guys, if you read any book this month, it needs to be Sadie and In Five Years. Okay? Those are the two books I thoroughly recommend. So um, yeah, put your stuff down below um, to let me know what you think. If this seems like it would be a book that you would want to read, let me know. So until next time, stay zany.